Hello everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. Um, this one is today's project for Scrap FX. Um, I'm playing in this six inch wide Dina Wakeley Media Journal and I'm starting off by using some numbers collage tissue paper and just adding a little bit of that onto my page across the centre. I'm going to be going for a bit of a monochromatic uh, theme with this page uh, with just a little splash of, I think I've got turquoise and kind of like a fuchsia pink at the end as well. So once I've glued it down, I'm then going in with a little bit of black gesso. So um, buckle up. I know there are loads of you that cringe when I get this out. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it will work. It will work. It'll be fine. So for me a lot of the time it's about building up those layers and this is a great way to do that so just popping some paint on and then lifting a bit through the stencil you can peep through to see what's underneath but also you're creating that interest and you're putting that extra pattern layer onto your journal pages too and um, so then once that was dry i'm going in with the vision stencil and a little bit of white paint and just um, smooshing a bit of paint through the stencil using the blending tool. So again, just adding more layering onto the page. It also has the effect of pushing that black away a little bit too, and just kind of breaking that up as well. So this is the Faces Transparency from uh, Scrap FX. And I'm just going to get a couple of little pieces of this and um, add it at the top and bottom of my page. I was going to staple it in, but um, my stapler was empty. and I couldn't be bothered to, <laughs> to get the staples out. Uh, so it was really lazy, isn't it? So I've, I've cut up another piece. That's going to go at the bottom. And I ended up actually sticking this in using um, some of Dina's Ultra Thick Gel Medium. Uh, I know it's a very it causes a bit of controversy doesn't it using staples or not using staples I think I don't really have a strong feeling about it uh, unless it's going to completely ruin how the page looks um, but you can do either either way works um, I think sometimes the staples just add to the mixed media uh, look of the page but it's a very personal preference thing so here I am just using a little bit of that gel uh, medium just to stick these pieces in place. So this is one of the um, textured men, textured, oh my gosh, textured men uh, figures from the packs from Scrap FX. And I'm just adding some white paint onto him. And then he gets dried as well. And then I'm just going in with some more collage paper. Um, this is one that's just got some text on it. I'm just putting little pieces onto the figure just to um, give him a different look. So he actually will stand out a bit better on the page with that little bit of interest on the figure now. So even though there are bits that are overlapping, once it's dry, I can quite easily um, trim those off, either using a craft knife or my little scissors. Um, that wasn't a, a real problem, really. Um, just easier to tear up the little bits and not worry about them being exactly the right shape. OK, so then once I've trimmed him to shape, <laughs> sounds a bit odd, I'm then going around and edging uh, the figure using some black archival ink and my blending tool. And you'll notice when that goes back on the page in a minute, it'll be more in the middle, that he does stand out quite well. I am stapling him in um, partly because um, it will stay in place a bit easier uh, and just because it's quick. So this is the circle stamp. Um, and I'm just using some white paint on this and just adding another layer of um, interest and pattern onto the background. This stamp is brilliant because that shape is so perfect. You could even doodle onto those shapes if you wanted to. Um, yeah. So don't forget, you use acrylic paint on your stamps. You must give them a really good clean after before the paint dries then i decided i did want to add a little bit of color onto my page i'm starting off with a scribble stick with um in turquoise and i did a little bit of that on and i was like mm, that's not really showing up the best so it kind of gave a hint of turquoise but not as much as i really wanted 
So I reached for the gloss spray um, in turquoise and I'm just using, dipping my brush in and just painting, painting on with it really, just to kind of uh, brighten that colour a little bit. And then, of course, adding some splatters. So I'm literally just dipping my tiny fan brush into the gloss spray and adding some splatters across the page. So that kind of creates that cohesive uh, side to the page because I've got the blue on the figure and then pulling it across the page. I also had a washi tape heart that I'd obviously used on another project and decided not to put on there and had it saved somewhere so I've stuck that on the figure and then I wanted somewhere to do my writing so I'm just going into the middle of the page with a bit of white paint that's on my blending tool and pushing that background away just to calm that down so that I can then go in and do my writing on that part of my page. I'm using a Posca pen for the writing as well. I've also, um, those circles that I stamped, I've also outlined those with some black scribbly lines. And then as I often do, I just go in and um, add a bit more depth to one side of the letters. It just helps them to stand out a bit more from the page. Um, it just uh, looks a lot I think it looks nicer that way. And then this is one of my stamps that I designed uh, for Funky Fossil uh, with my signature dots. I'm actually finding that I'm reaching for this more and more just to add those dots onto my page um, when I haven't got time to be going crazy with the dots. And then I've just used a little bit of a Posca pen. I've just um, primed it on the glass mat and then I'm just adding some very small splatters using that lovely dark pink colour and there we go it is finished so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video where I've created this quite monochromatic page using scrap effects goodies thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon